Welcome back to the Tianjin Golden Metropolitan Polo Club. Weather turned to be a little bit colder, a little bit cooler than the afternoon here. Maybe a little bit drop, a little drop in the temperature here, around zero to two degrees Celsius here. And we are getting set for match number fifteen, final match of today, and also the final match for Zone One teams in the preliminary match round it's between Brazil who won both their game against Canada and New Zealand and their opponents here today Team England they got their first win over Peru through penalty shootout after regulation but lost to Argentina so for Team England status right now since only four teams can advance out of the six teams in zone one with two wins and one loss record now for both the New Zealand and the Argentina. So England, if they want to secure their spot in quarterfinal stage, they have to defeat Brazil this time. If they lost to Brazil, if they lose to Brazil in this game, it will put them into one win, two loss. Same record with Canada. Which means that tomorrow, um, I mean the day after tomorrow during our first rest day, it's going to be the shootout for rankings. And England and Canada will be in the, into the shootout to decide who can advance and who will be eliminated. So, dangerous situation for um, England. Certainly very critical for England. And before we start... I'm going to say hi to our, our audience here in Now Sports Now TV with our Chinese commentary, Elena and Karen on the side, and me, Akon Yao, and Toby Copson here at Tianjin Golden International Polo Club. It's quite smoggy still, and hope that you guys can see us here. So, this is going to be, a, 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 we're going to have a lot of talking points here England versus Brazil. Brazil very strong into this year's uh, tournament 9-1 win over Canada and 5-3 uh, win a dominant uh, final chaka as well for Brazil against uh, New Zealand uh, certainly for Team England Toby you're so familiar with the team so how would you preview this game? It, it, it's going to be a tough one there's no doubt about that England going to have to pull out all the stops if they want to get a win or at least not, not a, a massive loss here um, the, the uh, Brazilian team have been exceptionally strong so far, winning all their matches, and uh, today's not going to be any different. Um, like I said, the, the England squad this year, it, it's a much younger team, um, not as experienced as we've seen in the past. Um, all individually fantastic players, but the play's been scratchy and a bit, you know, it hasn't been perfect, let's say that, for the first couple of games. So um, let's hope that they can, uh, you know, pull it together get the penalty shots on target and um, you know tighten up those set plays that they have and um, get, get a bit get you know get some more out of it for this game so definitely good luck to England our defending champion of the Fortune Hike Snow Polo World Cup here that has been this is the fourth time that the Snow Polo World Cup is host here in Tianjin Golden Metropolitan first two years wins uh, for Hong Kong China two-time champion here and last year in the finals England was able to beat Hong Kong China to dethrone them and capture the first ever snow polo world cup championship here in Tianjin but this time here a must win situation for team England against Brazil a 6-5 win over Peru after the penalty shootout uh, but a 3-5 loss to Argentina and for the Brazilians 14 goals in two games very powerful very aggressive teams that we've seen And both teams were actually top seeded in their respective group. But once again, only four teams out of the six can advance to the quarterfinal stage. So for England to stay alive, they must defeat it 
Brazil in this game. So then they will have a four-way tie with the other three teams, including New Zealand, Argentina, and Brazil. If they lose today, then they have to go through the shootout stage during our first rest day against Canada to decide whether they can take the last spot into the quarterfinals. Green helmet there, Max, Max Routledge. And in pink jersey here, our up and up, up and coming stars <laughs> in the polo ground. And our friends, the Argentinian brass band about to make their way on. It's going to get a little bit loud here in the commentary box as they go past. And it will be a two week long Fortune Hike Snow Polo World Cup tournament here. Starting off on January 28th. First six days is the preliminary match round. Today is day five. After this first six days of preliminaries, we'll go into the first rest day, which the ranking shootout will be host there, um, host here in the Tianjin Golden Metropolitan, followed by two days of quarterfinals and another rest day. And after that will be our uh, semifinal day next Saturday. And the second run up also in the championship match uh, next Sunday. All matches will be broadcast live on Now Sports Now TV in Hong Kong. And it's great to have our audience here joining us for another year of the Fortune Hike Snow Polo World Cup here on Now Sports. Audience here already as well. Brazilian fans here. Hoping their team get a perfect record in this year's Snow Polo World Cup preliminary. And it will be time for national anthems of both countries. First, Brazil. Oh, time for the national anthem, anthem of England.
Philippines always found it fascinating uh, knowing that Brazil is uh, such a country with the sun and beaches, uh, but found them in playing pretty well here in the snow, on the snow as well. Yeah, they've dispatched every single team they've come against so far. Um, I wonder if England are going to change that. And we'll be ready for the play introduction here. Brazil in go in white. Number one, four goal handicap, Gustavo Casilla. Number two, seven goal handicap, Alonso Valera Rosa. Running up, number three. Five goal handicap, Gulami Lenz. Next, we have the play introduction for Team England. So, at number one, Matt Perry on five goal handicap. Sorry, four goal handicap. Max Routledge at number two, five goals. And completing the threesome, Jack Richardson at back on six goal handicap. England in red and Brazil in gold. They're yellow and green color. Temperature here in Tianjin, China, three degrees Celsius. Still feeling a little bit cold as the sun is ready for his arrest day. So once again, England have to win this game or they will go into the fourth place shootout during our rest day in order to secure their spot into the quarterfinals. If they win this game, they are safe. But as for Brazil, since they already win two games their first two games even though they lost they will still be sure to advance into the quarterfinals so we're in here we go we're underway england in possession jack richardson sends the ball down the field match routledge to pick up could it be a quick goal for england looking good so far it is one nil to england straight off the bat quick goal there for england so, Brazil to hit in. Linz on the ball. There you just see the, uh, the goal there from Max Routledge. Very good start for Team England. Goal scored by Max Routledge. Brazil now, backhand. Jack Richardson approaching. Linz for Brazil here. Pressure from Matt Perry, pushing hard. Linz goes for the open backhand. Doesn't quite get it, comes off Perry's pony. Oh, he runs over the top with it. Matt Routledge is hooking out uh, Rosa there. Gilejo, Gilemi with Linz, called off by Rosa. Rosa puts it up to uh, Garcia. Garcia on the near side, beautiful shot by Garcia. He's looking to equalize here. Great run here, under the neck. Just hits uh, Max Routledge's pony and runs out. So hit hit in for uh, for England now. Good ride up and good defense by Max Routledge. Matt Perry picks up the pass from Jack Richardson here. Runs over. Oh, still in possession. That's good. Goes to the back shot. Oh, Jack Richardson called that one very nicely there. Goes to the back shot, picks it up, now goes under the neck. Jack Richardson under the neck here, straight to Max Routledge. Matt Routledge checks up and waits for it. Big ride off there by Brazil. Jack Richardson trying to get the hook in. Unsuccessful. Both players run over the top of the ball. We now have Linz on control. Kilene Linz puts it up. 
Rosa now back to Linz. And a foul. Matt Perry with the end of the next shot, takes it towards the boards. Max Routledge now on the near side. Oh, one of the Brazilian players' ponies playing up a bit. A bit bouncy, as is Matt Perry's pony doing exactly the same. Now Max Routledge approaches the ball, goes to the backhand, well and nicely done. Jack Richardson picks it up, gets on the top of the stick. Rosa now. Linz for Brazil, under the next shot, very nicely executed. Pops right in front of... Uh, Garcia. Jack Richardson causing a bit of problems for Rosa. Oh, he stopped it. He's on the near side now. Nicely done. Puts the hook in. Gets it. Brazil now maintain control. Linz on the near side. Very nicely done for Linz on the near side. Oh, it's good. There's the equalizer for Brazil. One apiece now with two minutes, 30 seconds left in the first chakra. Very good control by Guilherme and Linz. Let's check and the you just see, he pushes it forward on the near side and very confidently pops it through under the neck on the near side. Great player. Not the easiest of shots to pull off by any measure. Oh, dangerous position for England to be in now. It's gone wide. Give them all exhale now. So England to hit in. Jack Richardson hits up. Brazil answer with a near side back. Oh, here we go. Matt Perry turns the ball here. Pony's playing up a little bit. He did well to maintain that ball there. Opens his shoulder, goes to the big shot, doesn't get it. Swings for a second time and misses. So Max Routledge turns, establishes himself on the line, goes to the open backhand, puts it straight into the Brazilian player's way. But Jack Richardson managed to get himself in there. They're appealing for the foul now, but no whistles going. He says play on. So Brazil, Brazil emerged from that one. So we have Garcia. Garcia's on the ball. Max Routledge giving him a bit of a bump. Routledge having a good run here. Garcia with him. Routledge on the near side. Runs over top of it. Jack Richardson hopefully there behind him. No, but we have Matt Perry. Cleared by Brazil. Very nicely done. Jack Richardson giving a bump. Gets himself on the near side. Oh, it's heading towards goal. Can they clear it? Yes, they can. Brazil bringing it across the goal mouth. Big shot there by Fog Garcia. Garcia putting the whip on. Max Routledge having a good bump with him. Jack Richardson on the near side. 30 seconds left in this first chakra with one apiece. Lots of swinging and misses going on here. Brazil having a late break for it. And the fouls, that uh, whistle's been blown, the foul's been called. So you can see Brazilian possession. Matt Perry runs over the top of it. And they've called for the foul. So they're going to get a penalty, Brazil, here. With 16 seconds left in it. This is probably goal number two for Brazil, I think. to take. Taps it through, easy goal there. 2-1 to Brazil.
England wasting no time getting that ball back into play. Jack Richardson with a big hit out to the right. Still with it, cleared by Brazil. And that's the end of the chucker. So end of first chucker. Score now is 2-1. Brazil up with one goal. Early score by England, but Brazil come back with two goals now. 2-1 two, to Brazil. Welcome back to the Fortune Tiger Snow Polo World Cup, uh, World Cup 2015 here at Tianjin Golden International Polo Club here. Well, after first chucker, scores 2-1. England actually get the first goal um, of today's game, but right after Brazil come back with two goals. How would you rate it, um, both teams so far, Toby? I think they're both doing very well. Mm -hmm. uh, England coming off strong. Um, the defense is really quite good at the moment. Hitting, um, they could be a bit better with the hitting. I think they're swinging a little bit too quickly on these ones and uh, forcing their shots. Um, Brazil, you know, calm, cool, collected. Yep. But uh, I, I think, you know, it, it, it's even Stevens at this stage. I think it can go either way. So let's get ready for the start of second chunker. The ball's in the play. That's good. England won that one. Max Routledge taking it out. Just runs over the top of the ball, sadly. Max Richardson with a nice little back shot. Puts it right in front of Max Routledge. Jack Richardson here. Richardson. Goes the big shot, slices it out towards the right. Still no oppo opposition to him though. That's a good shit. That's a really good hit towards goal. Oh, it's just gone wide. But it's been put back in. Oh, no, it has. Matt Perry tried to save it, but uh, it had already gone past the back line. Great shot though from uh, Jack Richardson towards goal. Brazil hitting in, big shot across goal mouth into the uh, middle of the field. Brazil having a good run here. Jack Richardson putting pressure on. Brazil appealing for the foul. Weren't awarded it. Jack Richardson on the ball again. Goes to the hook, gets it. 
but Brazil's managed to come out on top of that one. Could it be another goal for Brazil? It is, it's good. Brazil come up at 3-1 against England. So 3-1 now. Just a score by number two, Alonso Valera Rosa. Oh, Jack Richardson's pony's really not quite high there. He's good well to stay on. Jack Richardson with the next shot along the boards. Push it up to Matt Perry. Matt Perry on the, finding himself on the wrong side of the ball there. Rosa in pursuit. Rosa come in for another goal here. Very nicely done. 4-1 to Brazil. This is, to, this is definitely turning out to be Brazil's chucker. So nice goal there from Garcia. Garcia making a break for it. Pops it forward. And it's good. So 4-1 now. Brazil up three goals. Jack Richardson doing well to keep the man out of the play there. Turning the ball well. Jack Richardson having a good old, good old run himself. Turns the ball towards goal, nicely done. Clear by with the Brazilian players. Max Routledge there, getting on there with the whip. Brazil appealing for the foul here against Jack Richardson, saying he's uh, obstructing play. I think a whistle has gone, so they may get awarded that. They have, they've been awarded the penalty. Less than two and a half minutes remaining on the second chocker. Nice big hit by uh, Rosa there. Matt Perry challenging. Goes to the backhand shot, well done. Jack Richardson taking it. Great clearance there. Puts it straight in front of Matt Perry. It's going to bounce off the boards. Matt's going to have a good little run here. Nicely done. Oh, swing and a miss. That's unfortunate. So, Lynn's now on the ball looking to turn it. Matt Perry giving a bit of stick. Called off it by... Uh, Garcia. Ball pops out. Max Routledge has a swing and a miss. Jack Richardson here playing the back shot. Straight into Max Routledge. And then you two that one on the chest there. Again, Richardson. He looks to take this one by himself. Pressure though from uh, Rosa. Jack Richardson with a cracking shot upfield, but I think it's going to end up going out of the play. It has. It's hit the boards and bounced out. It's only one more minute to go on second chugger. So this has put quite a dent in England's uh, hopes, this chugger. Two goals quite quickly, one after the other. Oh, Richardson managed to get through there with the ball. Oh no, late break here from Brazil. Look at that pony go, it's his full pursuit here. 
Oh, Matt Perry might be able to check up and get this, and he's cleared it. Well done, Matt Perry. So all three England players helping one another there. Matt Routledge played the backhand shot there, but he's played it straight into one of the Brazilian players' way. Brazil now. Is he going to have a big shot on goal? He is. He's going to go for it. Oh, it hits Jack Richardson's pony. He's lucky there. He's managed to clear it at the last second of that match. So they didn't concede that fifth goal. They were very, very lucky there. Scary moments for England fans here. Almost losing one more goal. Here we see. No, it bounces straight off of Jack Richard. If he wasn't standing there, that would for sure have been the fifth goal. It actually hits the mallet. A great block by Jack Richardson. But England is still down by three goals. After two chuckers, score now 4 1 Brazil. Welcome back. So after two chuckers, Brazil up three goals. Score now is 4-1. to one. So what went wrong actually in the second chucker for Team England there, Toby? I just don't think their, uh, their motivation's not there. You can see that they're, they're behind most plays. You know, when the ball does change, they're, um, they're having to put a lot of effort into catching up with it and uh, they should be anticipating the change of direction. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd expect a bit more from them coming out. Uh, I would imagine Alan Kent, team coach for England, would have had a bit of a, a bit of a bum kicking session in that one, and uh, said, "You need to pull your socks up and get, get out there and uh, you know, create some, uh, create some plays for yourself." Very right, said. Final six minutes. Once again, if England wins this game, they will confirm their spot in quarterfinals. Good save by Jack Richardson. If they lost. If they lose this game, they will go into a shootout on our first rest day against Canada to fight for the only remaining quarterfinal spots. Jack Richardson picking up the ball there from that tail shot by uh, Rosa. Richardson controlling the play quite well here. Oh, very nicely done. Very, very nicely done by Jack Richardson. He should have a good crack at this one. Oh, beautiful goal. Lovely goal there from Jack Richardson for England. Bring it up to 4-2.
Very well set up by Team England here. Great smile on Jack Richardson's face as well. Our last year's tournament trim, um, MVP. He's done. He's, he's done. He's done really well there to um, to actually create that that bit of room because there was two players on him, so he's managed to you know fool both of them and uh, and open up a bit of a, a bit of a channel. So anyway, back to the play. Whatever Alan Kent said back during it, the end of that last chucker there, um, it's obviously worked because they're doing quite well. England controlling possession at the beginning of this this chucker. side. So to play down. Matt Perry there. Perry turning. Perry turning on it. Oh, it's just gone wide. Valiant effort, but it's gone wide. Matt Perry is looking at the umpire. Claim, trying to claim a call. There's no call. So Perry pushing through there. I think he's I think he's getting a little bit sandwiched there and I think that's what he's appealing for. Truth be told, that should have been that should have been given as a penalty. Yeah. Routledge playing it back into the danger zone. Matt Perry in hot pursuit of this ball, taking out taking out Silas. Very well done there. Oh, Perry's off, taking a bit of a spill here. I think he's okay. I mean, he's just a little bit unseated there. The horse, he's gone for the swing and he's, he's, he's thrown himself off balance. The horse has shirked up and he's just taken a, a little bit of a spill. But uh, I think he's fine. What a trooper, back on the horse already. So we see here, Matt Perry, it's okay. A lot of media attention here for this big matchup between uh, last year's champion, England, versus this year so far, by far, the perfect team, Brazil, winning both of the games here. So, Lani up. So, coming straight towards us here on the boards, Perry. Perry to play a nice little backhand there. Garcia on the ball. Garcia going nicely across here. Well, well maintained possession. He's done well. Oh, Perry did nice there to change. So Jack Richardson checks up, heads towards the. Great shot there by uh, by Lind. Perry coming out of that nicely. If he can get on the next shot, he get a good goal here. Oh, it's it's good, it's a goal. Great goal there by Matt Perry for England, bringing it up to 4-3. With two minutes 40 left in this chucker, they could come back yet. If they maintain this little run, obviously this is their chucker. They're having, they, they've upped their pace. Yeah, nicely done to find space there. He's got the Brazilian player on his near side instead of his offside, so he's created room for himself. Very well done. So Rosa on the ball here, looking to open his shoulders and send the ball flying. Garcia to collect. Jack Richardson plays on the near side now. Richardson and Garcia having... Garcia on the ball here. Richardson goes in. Matt Perry's appeal for the foul because he's established himself on the line. So foul gains. So Richardson will take the penalty. Big hit upfield. Very nice. Right in front of Perry again. Perry's having a chucker of his life. 
Matt Routledge there. Perry drops in, sends in behind him. Takes the man now, leaves it for Perry. Perry's going to want to go out right and hit the... If I was Perry, I'd just hit a goal now. He's popped it up in the air and it's good! What a goal for Perry! So that is it. We've tied at four apiece now with one minute left of the chucker. What an exciting chucker this is. Brazil's looking a little bit confused at how this could happen. So really good play there. You see Routledge has left the ball for Perry. Perry's looked up and went, I'm just going to chip this ball up towards goal. So the big foul appeal for there by Richardson. He's not getting it, but... It looks like it runs wide. Goal back to oh, the Oh, look at that. 5-4 to Brazil now with 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh my God, this is some excellent polo. The ball looks like that is going to go wide. 30 seconds to go. England still advancing here. No, play direction has been changed. Great hook there by Matt Perry. He really is having a great game today. Ten seconds to go and it's over in the danger zone for England. I think a whistle's gone. England getting a penalty shot here. So nine seconds. They're going to have to run awfully fast to get this equaliser. Jack Richardson, what a cracking shot. He got right behind that one. What a fantastic shot. If they can get this, they might be able to equalise. Oh, I don't think they're going to get it. That's unfortunate. There's the end of the match. 5-4 in favour of Brazil. But what a great, great performance by England when they came out in that second chakra and indeed the third. So uh, they did pull out the stops. They brought what they needed to, but unfortunately it just wasn't enough in the end. What a late comeback by Team England there. Three goals in the third, Chaka. But at the end, it's Brazil that got the final goal there, making a score of 5 4 win over Team England there. Well, let's check out the full game highlight 
Brought to you by Now Sports here. Well, this game had its ups and downs in the first trucker. It's early score by Team England, making the 1 0. But from the, mid the middle of the first trucker to the end of it, Brazil got two goals back, regained the lead. First goal scored by Guilherme Linz. And a penalty shot by Linz as well, making it 2-1 after the first chucker. And in the second chucker, uh, it's all about Brazil. Getting two more goals here. Nice break by Rossa there. Putting one more goal on the scoreboard. Scored 3-1 there. A nice backhand shot by Lintz. So Garcia on the ball now, tries to lift it up, puts it through quite easily. So after two chuckers, it was 4-1, a three-goal lead by Brazil. Then... Going into the third chucker, I mean, England really just upped their pace. They were spot on with their set plays, and uh, they, they found room for themselves, which is good, because they needed to create opportunities. But, uh, and they did. Jack Richardson lost it, but Matt Perry there to claim it and puts it through the groove. So two goals scored in one and a half minute. And one more time, Matt Perry. And the goal just keep coming for that Team England. A great goal there from Matt Perry. He's just chipped it straight over the two players and has gone straight in. Very, very nicely done there. And England ties the game with around 1 minute and 20, uh, 12 seconds there. But a surprise attack by Brazil. Just one golden opportunity and they capitalized that to make the score. And the final score, fight for a win for Brazil over England. Linz, congratulations to Brazil team. You guys played so well. Thank you. Linz, congratulations to Brazil team. You guys played so well and you got three goals for your team. What do you think about your own team? Yeah, we played well and English team is so hard. They play hard. Very, very difficult team. So we played very well. <laughs> and I saw that uh, England team, they're catching very quick in the last check. What do you think about England team as uh, opponents? Because they are quite strong. Yeah, yeah, they played strong. The horses, England horse was very, very strong. So, very, very hard game. It's too difficult. Any confidence to the championship? Yeah, we had a, another uh, very, very, very difficult games, but we are confident.
Okay, once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So good games that we had today. Day five of the Fortune Hike Snow Polo World Cup here with a perfect record now by the Brazilians. A good top seed match that we just seen between England and Brazil. And of course, good to see Peru, even though they lost all their uh, all three of their games, but it's always good to have new teams coming in our uh, World Cup tournament here. So let's check out today's result before we finish our program today. Early first game, Argentina beat Canada, score 5-3, claiming their second victory of this year's tournament. New Zealand 7-2 over Peru, also got two wins, a one loss record after their three matches. And Brazil win over England 5-4, got a perfect record in the preliminary rounds. So there you see the Standings out of the six teams, only four teams will be able to advance to quarterfinals. Brazil with perfect record secure their spot in quarterfinal. Also for both two wins and one loss team, New Zealand and Argentina, they are both in. But England and Canada, they will get into the shootout for rankings on our first rest day. And Peru is elim eliminated from the quarterfinals. Tomorrow it will be all song two teams there. Their final preliminary match of the tournament here. France going against USA, Mexico and Spain. Both teams are looking for their first victory. And Hong Kong, China, similar situation like Team England versus the powerhouse Chile. If they lose, they will need another shootout on the rest day to confirm their ranking. So thank you for joining us at Now Sports Now TV with the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup 2015. Day 5 is completed tomorrow. will be day 6. Please tune in to channel 630, 632 on Now Sports Now TV. Thank you for joining us with Toby Copson and Ekonyao. Goodbye today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.